All right, so here's the screencast for all of you who hate percent bars and you hate proportions and you just feel like it's way too much work, so just give me the shortest way possible. So that's what this one's for. Here we go. First of all, here are the answers to 9, 10, and 11. So I'm going to go over, well, I'll slow that down. Check your answers. Did you get them right? Fantastic. All right, here we go. Let's do 12 and 13. They're a little bit harder. So in 12 and 13, Number 12, you grow up in a village, you lived in a village growing up, I'm sorry, and the village was small and it had a population of 840 people. So you recently heard the population increased to 882. What is the percent increase? So you're trying to find the percent increase, but before I can do that, I need to know this. What percent of the original is 882. So that's the question I need to find first. So what percent of 840 is 882? So I'm trying to find the percent that I would multiply by 840 so that my answer would be 882. So to find that percent, I'm going to divide. So I'm going to divide. To find percent, you divide. So I'm going to divide both, I'm going to divide 882 by 840. So 882 divided by 840 is 105. So the percent is 105. So the new percent is 105. Well, we know the original percent is always 100. So that means the percent must have increased by 5% because 105%, the new percent, minus the original percent, is 5%. So there's your percent increase. And that's your answer, 5%. The other way to do it would have been to find the increase. Do 82 minus 840. 882 minus 840. And then divide by the total to get the percent. And that would work too. All right, on to number 13. Number 13 is a real life problem. This happens all the time with people when they're shopping at Kohl's. They have a coupon for $15 off, maybe Kohl's cash, and a 20% off discount. So you're gonna you're buying some items, they taught cost this much money. And what would your total be if you first first take off the coupon? Take off means subtract, then take off the discount. Alright. So the first thing I have to do is take off the coupon. So I have to do a hundred. Uh, six dollars and ninety nine cents and I'm going to subtract the fifteen dollar coupon and I use a calculator for that 106.99 minus 15 and I get ninety one dollars and ninety nine cents so that's the new price after the coupons taken now I need to take off the twenty percent discount so I'm gonna say so what is 20% of $91.99. So I'm going to find what is, so that's going to be the discount is 20% of $91.99. So I'm going to multiply 20% by this. So I'm going to multiply 9, still my calculator from before, leave, left, left it there, didn't clear it, times 0.20. So the discount must have been the 20% is 18 dollars 398 well that's a lot of numbers in money you only get two decimal places so I need to round to the nearest cent five or above give it a shove so that means that's rounding up to 18 dollars and 40 cents that's the discount so now the discount I need to take it off of the original price so that means I go 91 dollars 99 cents minus the discount of $18.40 and I get $73.59. So to get that again, I took the original I took the price after the coupon minus the discount and there's my answer, $73.59. So that's how you can do it without any percent bars or proportions, just working your way logically through the problem. Okay, thanks. Hope that helped.